Yeah, look at that! It's a Sentinel freighter! Oh my- Previously on X-Men. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and today I'm gonna show you the upgrades to Sentinels in the Expedition update because they are pretty massive. Holy cow. So, as you can see, I'm at a uh, secured facility and there are a lot of Sentinels guarding this place. But before I jump into what, you know, the upgrades are, I'm going to show you my setup because a lot of people have been asking about it. And so for my suit, I make sure to have all the technology. Like, I, I overdo it, so I'm way maxed out. I have my, you know, my hazard protections. I have all my technology doubled up. So, you see, like, my shields? I have three shields here, and I also have three shields in my tech inventory, as well as my general. And so I always keep my cargo bay, my cargo inventory, is where I keep most of my, my stuff, all my materials, all right? But, as you can see, I have everything pretty much maxed out. I have all S-Class, unless the... The black market one, like the black market shields give me a little bit more shield than my S-Class did. That's why I replaced them. But just for your frame of re reference, you can only have three of each technology. So if you buy, like look at this right here. I have three movement upgrades that I bought, but this is a jetpack augmentation, which is a blueprint. You can make any blueprint you want. But you can only have three store-bought upgrades, all right, per section. So I have three here, and then I have three here. And then I have, of course, my blueprint. That's why it's a B-class. It's a blueprint. A-class rocket boots are a blueprint. So that's why I have those there. But I also, on my multi-tool, I always go with a uh, scatter blaster. It's the, basically the shotgun. It is amazing, and I'm about to show you why. So this is basically how I have my setup for all of my... My stuff, in general. I'll always put them in boxes because that'll give you the best upgrade boost. If you don't know how to do that, there's plenty of videos on how to do the upgrade boost to your technology. But you basically want to put them all touching together. So you're good to go on that. So let's jump into these upgrades. Now, in the up in the Expedition update, they say that they've uh, increased the, the aggression on some of them. And I will show you why. Look at this right here. Instantly, boom, all right. That's just a, you know, a baby drone, a baby sentinel, okay. We should be okay. Oh, there's a quad over here. Oh, no, no, he's just a normal one. I could have sworn there's a quad, but no, okay. So now they're gonna call for reinforcements because I took out all of these sentinels that were located right here. Let me uh, reload. Come on. Oh, you guys know. So we're at level two. And they sent in three. Usually they would only send you in two. So look at that. There's actually four of them. Holy cow. Okay. Four Sentinels instead of two. They used to only send two over. But they sent over four. And I will say that this happens no matter what. So I've tried this in like a normal circumstance. Like out in the wilderness when you just run into a Sentinel. I've tried doing it on, you know, next to a manufacturing facility. It's always the same scenario. They'll send in four. Now we're at level three, so we'll, we'll, we are gonna start seeing some quads around here. And the other thing to keep in mind is now, the drone sentinels, they will heal other sentinels. So they can't heal themselves, but they will heal each other. So you wanna take out the flying ones first, because they'll heal each other. And then they can also heal the quads. Like, oh God, let's get these guys. They sent over two quads. Which is more than they used to. They only used to send over one quad. They have sent... They're actually more aggressive in the fact that they send more of them over. And I... You know, as a tip, I would say, keep these down. Because once the walkers land, oh, man, it is going to get intense. Oh, look at... Level four severe. Let's see what this does. And... Oh, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Four. Oh, but then we got our, our walker over there. They actually send them from orbit. So maybe when we get to level five, I'll be able to show you guys them falling from orbit. But I mean, I have my suit fully upgraded. So that's why I'm not really taking that much damage. And if you guys want to know how to take out a walker really fast, take out his feet first. So boom, right there, boom, right there. Then take out his thighs. 
Then you take out the top of his head. And he gets all mad, and then you just shoot him in the chin right here. I again I use a scatter blaster because this thing is way OP. Look at this. Done. Easy peasy, right? And that's how you would get a uh, walker brain. There you go. But every time you you destroy one of these tubes, they will give you your shield back and they will give you ammo. So you want to kind of stockpile them. Let's see. And we should get a walker to land pretty good. Aerial land. And come on. There you go. Look at that. He just came from orbit. Oh, that's so good. And you always want to take out the... Uh, the flying drones first so they don't heal the walker because if you do like if I go over here and I shoot the walker They will actually go over and start healing him. Oh, maybe not. Maybe these guys are jerks. They don't want to heal him, huh? You're not gonna heal your buddy. I guess not. Okay. He's just really intent on killing me. Okay. That's okay with me I will take you out anyway and the only bad thing about the scatter blaster is the farther away you get, the less damage it does. And so you see how it's a farther distance. I'm taking more shots to take him out. But it still works pretty good. So scatter blaster, definitely OP in this game. All right, let's get the level five. Come on. Level five maximum. Look at that. They sent in five drones for a level five. Oh, and he drops in. Oh, oh, oh. And we should be getting some quads in here, too. Oh, come on. Oh, oh. Yep, there's the quads over there. Holy cow. Look at it. And they are definitely just starting to take my shield down. So that's why you leave these, these little drums around. That way you can refill your shield really quickly. Oh, come on. Oh, yep. Oh, come on. Holy cow. They're taking some damage. Okay. Ow. Let's reload. Oh, we got a quad over here. We got so many, so many drones. It's crazy. Oh, and then the, the other quad body is blocking me. Get that armor plating. Now, you have to take out the armor plating in order like this. And then you take out the head. And then you can take out the core right here, the brain. But if you don't hit all the other ones, it won't let you take the brain out. Let's get closer real fast. We can do some damage. There we go. I love it. And I'll just get my shield back. There we go. Shield recharged. Shield recharged. And I'm getting ammo as well. And you'll get some Pugnium out of here and Nanites. So definitely take those things out. Where? Where? Oh, came in. So yeah. And, I, and once you get OP, once you have a good setup, you can still do it all day, but it is definitely harder. It is definitely way harder to do now. Holy cow. Oh, my God. Come on, buddy. Yeah, you can't do it. You can't do it. Try to take me out. Come on. Oh. Get some uh, shield back. All right. And anyway, if I just sit here and I walk into his laser, he's not doing very much to me. It's, that's because I have my black market... Uh, shield upgrades that are really really good they're better than an s upgrade so holy cow yeah you definitely want that look at this boom got all my upgrades on my uh scatter blaster look at that oh so yeah that is definitely how you would survive level five this is on the ground so if you want to see what's in the air let's go check out what's on the air let's see where my ship is okay and so that's level five on the ground, but what about if you get out into space? Like if you run away, let's go. Like, okay, nope, we're out of here. Now they will search, but as soon as you leave the atmosphere, they call in the cavalry. They're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He left the planet. Now they're coming in. So we wait 10 seconds. And the one thing I don't like is that when you leave and you go into space, it resets your uh, wanted level basically to level one again. Let's get my Positron Ejector. Yep, and then get over, get close to, to him. Because the Positron Ejector is just like a uh, space shotgun. So there you go. Boom. I should have a lot of room. Okay, I do have some room, but not a lot. All right. 
Now we're going to level two. Come on. Wow, the reinforcements are taking a while to come in. All right, there we go. And you know we're going to take these guys out real fast. There should be two on this one. There they are. Done, son. All right. I know. And you're just looking for that uh, red orb that kind of highlights a little bit. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we have the... Uh, their inventory. Oh, there it is. Now, pretty soon, they're going to get tired of me destroying their ships. They should have three. Yep. Three, just like normal. So they didn't really upgrade the, the space attacks. They only upgraded the ground attacks for Sentinels. Okay. So space combat is basically the same again. Okay. I haven't tried this in space, so this is the first time I've seen it with you guys. Let's see what's going on here. Come on. I should still send in a frigate or a freighter. Let's see. I think they're going to send in a freighter. Yep, they they disable my, my pulse drive. That way you can't get away. Easy peasy. Now we're at level five. So this is level five. They should be mad now. Come on. Going backwards a little bit. Oh, here it comes. This should be a freighter. We're going to find out, though. Yeah, look at that. It's a Sentinel freighter. Oh, my. And they're sending out a lot more. Okay. Okay. They did level up the uh, the ships on the on how many they send out on a level five. Oh my god! Oh my god! Whoa! Okay, yeah. Sentinel freighter. Whoa! Let's go. Okay. Woo! We get that one ship that's out there. All right, here, come here, buddy. Oh, this guy. We got two. Oh, they're just slowly coming in. Come on. Oh, they're just going to keep coming in. Okay. Holy cow. Go, go, go. And in order to get away from here, where, oh, yeah, where's my, uh, there's my, uh, oh, I'm not going to be able to do anything. Large proximity. Yeah, that's a Sentinel freighter. Oh, come on. Let's get out of here. We definitely need to get some, some safety. So you can also just go home. Like if you go into a, uh, a planetary uh, atmosphere, it will stop. Well, it'll count down. They'll still be looking for you, but the ships won't come after you. So that's a good thing. Holy cow, you guys. Yep, they're going to scan again. But I'm in the atmosphere, so they can't get me. So yeah, holy cow. They did upgrade the Sentinels, especially the ground... No, uh, warnings, the ground uh, wanted levels are insanely more hard. Holy cow. Like, they send out way more sentinels, and, like, the drone sentinels will heal if you give them a chance to. I didn't want to... Oh, God. There's five of them? Hey, guys, I'm over here. I'm over here, you guys. Oh, they're not... They don't even know what's going on. They're going way out there. They're looking around. All right, so... Hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button for me, and I will catch up with you guys next time. Holy cow. My mind is blown.